Oh uh, yeah, what's up guys, it's Johnny Urgent with SQ or Fresh Gaming Town YouTube or YouTube Ravages on Seven Sons and today uh, I'm going to show you the program I made which is called Alien Studio 7 Diva Tool and I hope you are going to like that. This is not a full release version, this is 1.0 and I've been working on that now for quite a while and I hope you're going to like it. Um, I think it's pretty useful actually. So this is just for the people who want to code their own DL like uh, with one of the two mods in it and all that. It's pretty cool. And uh, yeah. I'm going to show you the program right now. Uh, when you download it, it's going to come in a uh, WinRAR file, and you need to extract it. And to extract it, you need a password actually. So I'm going to be putting passwords in the description or somewhere else. I don't know. And yeah. So then we can extract it, and there's the folder OGMS Two Seven Diva Tool. You can open it, and then um, in the folder we have four files. Don't worry about the DS store. Don't worry about that. We have um, one font, a README, and the tool itself. So I'm just going to open the README right now. We have OGMS 2.7 Diva Tool by OGMS 4 Ravages, aka OGMS 4 Desk, your fresh game is home. And this is basically just instruction how to use it. Um, install the font for a better experience. This is optional, but I really, really recommend this because it looks much better when you have the font installed. Um, then we have just some copyright stuff like that. Nothing special, really. Um, so you're not allowed to copy anything like that. I mean, you know what I mean. Not the source code or anything like that. Okay. Uh, once you've of uh, the font, we can actually come right to the Diva tool. But before I do that, I want to show you that this is no virus. Because one guy said, this is a virus, this is fake, blah, blah, blah. And I'm, seriously, how can this be fake? And how can this be a virus? I mean, seriously, I can't upload any viruses on Mediafire. Anyway, I'm gonna scan the selected file of survivor. Go to GMC7 Diva Tool. I did not cut the video. I'm gonna keep on talking, keep on talking, keep on talking, keep moving my mouse. I'm not gonna cut the video. This is seriously no virus. Okay, so, uh, yeah. The program will be initialized. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, here it is. Show demands and desktop OGMS 7 Diva Tool OGMS 7 Diva Tool .exe. No virus, no detection. Hmm, is this a virus now, sir? Tell me. Anyway, I'm gonna open the Diva Tool right now and show you all the features of it. So this is like with the new font and all this. I think it looks much much better. You have the font installed because if you don't have the font, it looks really fucked up with all this. So what can you actually do with the two of what did I add to the 1.0 version? Yeah, or in the 1.0 version. Mm. I actually added a reset all button and I added that you can generate a code if nothing of this is actually selected because I think it's just better because it's... And this was actually really hard. I, I, I mean seriously, you don't gotta believe that, but the function actually was kind of tricky uh, to code. Well, anyway, forget it. Um, so we have uh, the T7 Diva tool, and uh, yeah, this is the main layout of the program. Uh, I just we quick in our valve box. I think it looks pretty cool actually. The overall design of the program, uh, I like it actually. Um, took quite some time, but yeah, let's go to the mods. So uh, what you can do is once you select a clan tag, you can actually generate a code. And this is going to generate a code for the clan tag, for example. And by the way, I added a progress bar here to visualize yeah, how fast it goes or whatever. Um, so we have the clan name, fuck, for example. And we can even change it right now to UK, for example. And yeah, how can this be fake? Again, I have to ask. I have no idea. Anyway, um, so this is basically you can generate one code, right? Um, what you, can, you can generate two codes as well. It's gonna add it there. So this is really what I'm gonna show you. Um, then we have no ammo color. We can add this there as well. No reload color, blah. Then we can add like private match, public match. Generate the code for it, and it's gonna add it to the. Yeah, even if we want to remove that, we can actually generate it again, and it's gonna be removed. Um, and a far knife and stuff like that. Really, it's really a pretty cool feature of the program. Um, the features in general are quite good in my opinion. Don't want to seem like I have a high opinion of myself and thing, but yeah, um, I like it. So yeah, this is basically what it does. And what's pretty cool, we can generate a whole code. 
So uh, we can say we want to have this blue, we want to have this lime, this gold. Yeah, this is the scoreboard, get into colors. I really focused a little bit on the um, colors and all this, but I actually did not intend to do that, but um, kind of, I kind of did that. I don't know why. So uh, yeah, we can generate all of this now. Of the visions, and we can have like Vertigo as the modern map. We can have a uh, new time, Super Maturium, private match, and then we can leave that out if you don't want pro mode, don't want map size, don't want far knife. Yeah, you probably want far knife. Ah, it's made really. I can leave that out. And we can have it custom as name. I would advise you to just put this there then because that's kind of a pointless code then. Uh, I'm gonna add this like later on to 1.1 or whatever that it's gonna lock it, but I forgot that, I guess. I just remember that there was something. Um, I have a custom message of the day, and what's really helpful with this is the help, because you can have you have all the color codes here. So, for example, if you want to have um, a custom map name and you want to have it black, for example, then you can look into the help, and you can have like your black is that shortcut. So we can have a lot of that, and we can have a black and then call it OG Ums. Just like that, and then we can have we want to have it for example green. So it jumps to you seven, and then we want to change it to blue, for example. Doesn't matter really. Um, blue means to you seven, Evar means to you seven, Evar, and then the last thing is all right. I'm sorry, this is like basically. This is pointless, really, trust me. If you add like such a long code, then it's really pointless. It's just, uh, just a promo space. But actually what you can do, you can, yeah, I'm gonna show you this later on. So you can have a custom message. You can color this as well. I'm just gonna follow YouTube, home, slash, fresh, gamer. Uh, that's not gonna work. <laughs> you see, I I'm gonna update that soon, trust me. Um, well, that looks over. Um, I'm sorry about that. YouTube.com slash fresh gamer um, nice. So we can have custom team names and again everything of this can be colored so color is nice. Um and you can add like yeah. Um then custom team icons. It's in the help as well. So if you want to have any divorce you want to add yourself and you can use them. I'm gonna show you how in a minute. And if you want to have a huge claim dealer, we can add the, all the codes to. And this is all here. You can you just need to copy the link. And I'm really sorry about this, but I did not add that you can actually click on the link because it's read-only mode. Oh, um, I'm sorry about that, but I'm going to add it soon. Trust me, I just want to get the release right now because it's just kind of a thing which I wanted to do. Um, and yeah, all types of weapons and icon codes this is really, really useful, trust me. Um, because you have all the icons there. And yeah. Thanks for using the OGMs to 7 d tool then. Yeah, I'm just going to say that right now. And yeah, so this is basically... Now, we can actually generate a code because I don't have team icons right now, but they work. So then we can generate a code. It takes a little bit longer. But then it's generated and we have this whole code right here, which is pretty awesome, I guess. And even when it's generated, we can simply... We can basically change all of this again. So, for example, if I have like... Uh, the custom message, yeah, if we have the OGMs 27D or thing here, I can actually change that to tool right now, and you're gonna see that actually changes in the box. Um, tool, I, I need to show you where it is right now. Um, where is it? Map no, yeah, 27D roll. And now I'm gonna generate it again, and now you're gonna see it changes, it changed to tool. Pretty cool, I think that this is a pretty cool thing. Um, function um yeah then you can just copy the code to your clipboard and paste it into your dll um you can clear the whole code and generate it again if you want to generate it again i said okay and we can clear it again and we can actually reset all of this so now everything has been reset successfully and yeah so you can start all over again at your mods again and yeah gonna uh what i want to show you um What's that? You can generate some codes here. Um, shit, no stuff like that, and then we can have um, we can make the code editable, which is pretty cool. 
do OK, and then we can just change this, and we can change this, for example, to shit, shipment. It looks pretty ugly, I'm sorry about that. Yeah, I can, you can just change all of this, I don't know, um, if you want to, then you can just lock this again, and then you can't edit it anymore, so you can't mess anything up. But this is at your own risk, okay, so, you, you need to decide if you want to do that. Okay, so this is the 1.0 version of the OGM Studio 7 Diva tool. I hope you all like that. It took me quite some time to make it. And yeah, guys, so um, I see you later then. Happy modding with it.